What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some more news concerning Andy the Destroyer Ruiz. Andy Ruiz says that he was so happy that Deontay Wilder lost to Joseph Parker. He said, what happened to him? He said, um... Man, I was praying for Parker to win. I was so happy that he won. I congratulate him. Every single round, I was like, please, God, help him. And what do you know? He ended up getting the victory. I wanted to beat Wilder, and I wish I would have had the opportunity. His timing, he was sluggish. I don't know what really happened to him. But when people talk bad about each other and other fighters, because they even fight or in the buildup, things don't go your way. That's why I like to remain humble and calm and don't talk bad about other fighters. You know what? Everyone's dangerous and anything could happen. Those are the words of Andy Ruiz. And let me counterpunch. Um, I look at that just like a big ball of irony. You know, Wilder says that Joshua was so happy that he lost. <laughs> we seen that Deontay Wilder was so happy that Jarrell Miller lost to Dubois. Now we got Andy Ruiz saying, I'm so happy that Deontay Wilder lost to Parker. So we got a lot of happy ass people, don't we? We got a lot of people that are very happy that are admitting that they're happy or just by, you know, um, evidence that they're happy, you know, i.e. Ruiz and Wilder, that a lot of people are really preying on other people's downfall. But let me counterpunch, okay? Since we know that it's not good for the cosmos people to prey on somebody's loss, to prey on somebody's downfall, like we seen Wilder to Miller, like we see Ruiz to Wilder, okay? That being said, Ruiz, you better be careful, okay? Because you're so happy and you're praying to God that you're so happy that Wilder lost because he was talking shit about people. Well, guess what? That same thing applies to you, Mr. Inactivity, because you, of all people, should understand that inactivity is the first cousin of Father Time, okay? So be careful, because while you're so happy that Wilder lost, understand this, that shit could happen to you once again, okay? So take that under advisement. Because the same people that are so happy that other people lost are the same people that other people will be happy because they lost. That shit goes around. It's a vicious cycle. Okay? So I wouldn't be so happy. You know what I mean? But I guess he's speaking his heart. But not saying that's the right thing and the right way to be feeling. But then again, you got to be honest with yourself. At least he's not lying. But I don't think it's cool because he needs to understand that it will be somebody else happy when you get your ass taxed too. Let's say you go in there with whoever you're going to fight, whenever that's going to be. Because, you know, I mean, I think he should fire his dad by now because his dad could have got him, should get him a fight. Whether it's Frank Sanchez or, 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 or Zile Zhang or Joe Joyce or whoever. You know what I mean? There could be fighters that he could fight, <clears throat> okay? But whoever he fights, he has to be careful because more than likely, Andy Ruiz will try to fight somebody that's pretty much a cherry pick like he did Chris Ariola or Luis Ortiz with his old ass legs at age 52, okay? You know, so, and even, even Luis Ortiz gave him a good fight. He didn't knock out Luis Ortiz. He just dropped an older man a few times, but that older man hurt his ass and hit him hard as I've seen him get hit in a long time. You know, and he's just good that he has a beard, but that doesn't mean he can't get outboxed by somebody. So I think it's not good, again, for him to be so happy for another opponent or his, his, his rival to lose because, in fact, he could be in the same situation in the future. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Andy Ruiz. So happy that Deontay Wilder lost to Joseph Parker. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched.